robotic starter brain, the one of its kind pre-programmed brain for beginners in robotics, so that you can start making your smart robotic projects instantly. Let's take a look at it. You can see there are four buttons on the brain that act as switches to direct the functionality of your robot. These two switches marked as A and B and the other two switches marked as 1 and 2 will be pressed in a certain combination to achieve the desired outcome. We have four ports in the brain. The ports marked S1 and S2 will be used for connecting sensors with the brain and the ports marked as M1 and M2 will be used for connecting motors with the brain. You can connect sensors and motors to the brain with the help of the cables provided in the box. Sensors are the important input modules for your robot. The way sensor triggers are managed by the brain. It's controlled by switches A and B. The sensor triggers help direct motor movements which can be altered by switches 1 and 2. Various combinations of switch A and B put the robotic starter brain in three different modes. These are dual sensor mode, single sensor normal mode and single sensor latch mode. Let's start with the first mode, the dual sensor mode. The dual sensor mode is enabled when none of the switches A and B are pressed. In this case, sensor 1 will control motor 1 and sensor 2 will control motor 2. When sensor states are high, motors will begin rotating and when it is low, motors will stop. Let's take a look at when the sensors will return a high state. IR sensors will return a state high when triggered by an object like the wave of your hand or any obstacle in the way which will reflect the light back to the sensor. Sound sensor will return a state high when triggered by a clap or a snap close to it. Touch sensors will return a state high when triggered by a push or touch. Switch 1 and 2 help us to control the direction in which motors rotate. There are four cases that various combination of these switches give us. Case 1 is where both the switches 1 and 2 are not pressed. In this case, both the motors will rotate clockwise. Case 2 is where switch 1 is pressed, but switch 2 is not pressed. This moves motor 1 in counterclockwise direction and motor 2 in clockwise direction. Case 3 is where switch 1 is not pressed, but switch 2 is pressed. This moves both the motors in counterclockwise direction. Lastly, case 4 is where both switch 1 and 2 are pressed. This moves motor 1 in clockwise direction and motor 2 in counterclockwise direction. Let's understand motor movements here when they are connected to the wheels. When both the motors are either clockwise or counterclockwise, the robots will turn to one of its sides. Also, when one motor is either clockwise or counterclockwise and the other motor is moving in different directions, the robot will move either forward or backward. The exact movement of the motors will depend on where your sensors are connected. This mode will allow you to make two sensor bots like the hand follower robot, drummer robot, etc. Now let's take a look at the single sensor mode. The single sensor mode of the brain can be enabled when switch A is pressed but switch B is not pressed. In this mode, one sensor connected at port S1 will control both the motors and S2 will not work. This mode will allow you to make bots like construction lift robot etc. Use of switch 1 and 2 to control motor movements Case 1 is where both switch 1 and switch 2 are not pressed. In this case, both the motors will rotate clockwise. Case 2 is where switch 1 is pressed, but switch 2 is not pressed. This moves motor 1 in counterclockwise direction and motor 2 in clockwise direction. Case 3 is where switch 1 is not pressed, but switch 2 is pressed. This moves both the motors in a counterclockwise direction. Lastly, case 4 is where both switch 1 and 2 are pressed. This moves motor 1 in clockwise direction and motor 2 in counterclockwise direction. And finally, let's look at the single sensor latch mode. The single sensor latch mode of the brain is enabled when switch A and B are both pressed. In this mode, one sensor connected at port S1 will control both the motors. First of all, what is a latch? In electronics, a latch retains the output state by one signal until it is reset by another signal. 
there could be scenarios where a bot needs to consider saving the triggered state until the next trigger happens. This is where latch mode will come in handy. For example, if we have a bot with a sound sensor, the triggered state is when a sound is made, but that trigger will go after making the sound. But we would want that this state is saved until the sound is made again. For this, both A and B needs to be pressed. This mode will allow you to make bots like clap car robot, pantograph robot, etc. Use of switch 1 and 2 to control motor movements. Case 1 is where both switch 1 and 2 are not pressed and in this case both the motors will rotate clockwise. Case 2 is where switch 1 is pressed but switch 2 is not pressed. This moves motor 1 in counterclockwise and motor 2 in clockwise direction. Case 3 is where switch 1 is not pressed but switch 2 is pressed. This moves both the motors in a counterclockwise direction. Lastly, case 4 is where both switch 1 and 2 are pressed. This moves motor 1 in clockwise direction and motor 2 in counterclockwise direction. To end with an important note, the mode where switch A is not pressed and switch B is pressed is an invalid setting. Switch B will not work if switch A is not pressed. Now that you understand how robotic starter brain works, I hope you will experiment and make many robots with your kit. So go ahead and innovate. And don't forget to share with us on Let's Avishkar Facebook group. Happy innovating!